Hello? Hello? Oh, I can see you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Did you go... Um, did you have a vacation? Yes. Okay. So you... You are with your family? Mm, yes. Okay, so how was it? Did you enjoy? Yes. <laughs> okay. So... I'm going to share my screen again to make sure that you see or that we see the same slide, okay? Okay. Okay. So this is our listening material. Okay. So this is unit one. The topic is and uh, the title is vacation. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Okay, let's start. Let's take a look. Let's listen and finish the exercise, okay? So. Can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, can you read the new words on the screen? Uh, vacation. So-so. Very Sunshine. good. Sunshine. Ten. Tough. Tough. Dis disappointing. Disappointing. Very good. Fight. Fight. Trip. Rent. Rent. Peaceful. And? Skiing. Good job. Okay, you are very good in pronouncing this word. Now, we will proceed to the next slide, okay? You're going to listen to a recording. These people didn't have a good vacation. What did they do? Listen and circle the correct answer. Can you use the annotate and circle your answer on the screen? What? Can you use the annotate and circle your answer in my screen? No. You can't? You can't write on the screen? Yes. Okay, so listen first and just tell me your answer later, okay? Okay. All right. Unit 14, Vacations, page 54. Two, let's listen. These people didn't have a good vacation. What did they do? Listen and circle the correct answer. One. Did you have a good vacation? Not bad. I decided not to go away. I just stayed home and watched TV. You call that a vacation? Two. How was your vacation? So-so. Where did you go? I went to Hawaii. And? Well, I went for the sunshine, but it rained every day, so I couldn't get a tan. Hey, that's tough. Three. How was your vacation? Very disappointing. Oh, what did you do? Nothing. I stayed home and helped my father fix his car. Oh, no. Four. Did you do anything interesting on your vacation? Hmm, well... I went out of town for a few days. I visited my brother and his family. Did you have a nice time? It was terrible. The kids were fighting all the time. Five. When did you get back from your trip? Last week. So did you go to the beach? Not this time. I rented a house in the country. It was really quiet and peaceful and really boring. And the birds woke me up at six o'clock every morning. Six. What did you do on your vacation? Did you stay home? No, I went skiing. Really? Did you have a good time? It was great, until I broke my leg. Seven. How was your vacation? Vacation? Oh, that. Did you go to the beach? No, I had to stay home and study for my exam. Sounds awful. It was. 
And I failed the exam. Eight. Did you go to California for your vacation? No, I went to Nevada. To Las Vegas? Yeah, Las Vegas. That's great. How was it? Oh, it was all right until I lost all my money. Are you done? Yes. Okay, so I guess you're ready with your answers now. So what's the answer for number one? What did they do? Number one is uh, I stay at home. You stayed home. Okay. What's your answer for number two? Number two is going to Hawaii. Went to Hawaii. Number three. Is um, number three is uh, stay at home. Okay, number four. Four is visited relative. Visited relatives. Okay, number five. Number five is went to the country. Went to the country. Number six. Number six is went skiing. Went skiing. Number seven. No, number, uh, yes. Number seven is stay at home. Okay, and last number? Um, last number is went to Las Vegas. Okay, let's check your answers now if your answers are all correct. And ta-da! Wow, great job, Hui. You get it all correctly. So I'm going to write your score here. Your score is perfect, nine. Okay. Let's proceed now to the next slide. Okay, we are going to read the tape script, okay? I will read the letter A. Uh, no, no, I want you to read the letter A and I will read the letter B. Okay. Okay. Number Did you one. have... Did you have a good vacation? Not bad. I decided not to go away. I just stayed home and watched TV. You call that a, that a vacation? Okay, very good. How... You, <laughs> letter A. Number two. How was your vacation? So-so. Where did you go? I went to Hawaii. And... Well, I went for the sunshine, but it rained every day, so I couldn't get a tan. Hey, that talks. Good job. Number three. How was, how was your vacation? Very disappointing. Oh, what did you do? Nothing. I stayed home and helped my father fix his car. Oh, no. Did you do anything interesting on your vacation? Mm, well, I went out of town for a few days. I visited my brother and his family. Did you have a nice time? It was terrible. The kids are fighting all the time. When did you get back from your trip? Last week. So, did you go to the beach? Not this time. I rented a house in the country. It was really quiet and peaceful and really boring. And the birds woke me up at 6 o'clock every morning. What did you do on your vacation? Did you stay home? No, I went skiing. Really? Did you have a good time? It was great until I broke my leg. How was your vacation? Vacation? Oh, that. Did you go to the beach? No, I had to stay home and study for my exam. So awful. It was, and I failed the exam. Did you go to the California for your vacation? No, I went to Nevada. To Las Vegas? Yes, Las Vegas. That's great. How what is? 
How was it? How was it? Okay. It's all right until I lost my money. All right. Very good, Hoi. You are really having uh, doing a great job while reading the script. Now, this time, we are going to learn these new words here on the screen. Okay. Go camping. Do you know what Go is camping? camping? Yes. Okay. Keep warm. Keep warm. Go sightseeing. Go sightseeing. Museum. Museum. Sunburn. Sunburn. Terrific. It's terrific. Spaghetti. 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 Meatball. Meatball. Okay, very good. Do you have some question before we proceed? No. All right, very good. Now, this time, you are going to make a sentence using this structure. Oh, it's written in Vietnamese. What does it mean? It's to use, to use a... Describes some something describes. in the describes in, something describes something in in the past mm. in the in past the and what is P two? Uh, mm, the P2 is past. Past participle. Past participle. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. So, must have traveled. Must have. Okay, like that. Um, must have traveled so far. Oh, okay. Can you give me any, an example? Can you give me mm. your own sentence using this structure? Uh, mm, you must have mm, must have um, you must have you must have Must have traveled so far. You, you must have lots of money. <laughs> okay, you know, must have lots of money. <laughs> okay, now let's proceed to the next slide. Oh. Okay. Oh, there is the example. Hoy. Can you read the example? This poem is true. Miss must have a rain overnight. Okay, so this is the example. This pond is full. It must have rained overnight. Okay, it must have, must have, and then you're going to add the verb in the past form. Past form, rained. Okay, can you give me your own example? Hmm. Uh, I lost my toy. It must have tonight. Uh, it must have overnight. I uh I go to the I go to the park and. Okay. And I go to the end and lost, lost okay. my toy. I lost my toy. It must have gone when I go to the park. Okay. It should be like that. Must have. And then the past form is gone. Okay. Now let's proceed to the next slide. 
Okay. Okay. This is exercise two. People are talking about their vacation. You're going to listen and number each picture. You should... Okay, look at the example. This is the number one. You need to find where is two, three, four, five, and six. Okay? okay. I'm going to play the recording now, so listen carefully. One. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow, it looks really fun, but hard. How do you stay on them? In the beginning, you don't. You fall off all the time. But you learn pretty quickly. I had a wonderful time. Two. What are you doing here? My friends and I went camping. It was really great, but it got very cold at night. This is how we kept warm. Three. What did you do? Oh, I went sightseeing and visited all the museums. Oh, that sounds interesting. Actually, it was pretty boring. I hate museums. Four. Oh, this must have been a wonderful vacation. Yes, it was fantastic. The weather was perfect, and the water was so clear. Wow, look at you. You're all red. Yes, I got a terrible sunburn. Five. What are you doing here? Oh, I took a cooking course in Italy. Terrific. So what can you make now? Spaghetti and meatballs. Six. Did you go all the way in this? Yes, we did. It was really very comfortable to travel in. We slept in it, too. All right, are you ready with your answers? Yes. Okay, now where is the number two? The number two is A-E. Letter E. Okay, I'm going to write it for you. This is your number two. Where is number three? Mm, number two. Number three is C. C, okay. Num next. Number four is B. B. Number five is F. F. And the last one is letter A. Okay, let's check your answers now. Two, three, four, five, and six. Wow, you get it all correctly. I'm going to add five in your score. So your score now is perfect 14 good job now let's proceed you're going to listen and you're going to check whether the statement is true or false okay this is six okay. points now listen carefully one is this you yes it is wow it looks really fun but hard how do you stay on them? In the beginning, you don't. You fall off all the time, but you learn pretty quickly. I had a wonderful time. Two. What are you doing here? My friends and I went camping. It was really great, but it got very cold at night. This is how we kept warm. Three. What did you do? Oh, I went sightseeing and visited all the museums. Yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. Actually, it was pretty boring. I hate museums. Four. Oh, this must have been a wonderful vacation. Yes, it was fantastic. The weather was perfect, and the water was so clear. Wow, look at you. You're all red. Yes, I got a terrible sunburn. Five. What are you doing here? Oh, I took a cooking course in Italy. Terrific! So what can you make now? Spaghetti and meatballs. Six. Did you go all the way in this? Yes, we did. 
It was really very comfortable to travel in. We slept in it, too. All right. Are you ready with your answers? Mm, yes. Okay. Can you read the number one and tell me your answer? Number one is false. False. Okay. Can you read the statement first? She loved to water ski very slowly. Okay. And your answer is? Quickly. False. Your answer is false? Yes. Okay. Number two. Can you read the number two? Number two is true. It's true. Okay. Number three. Our three is um, false. Number four. Number four is true. Number five. Five is four. Number six. Number six is true. Okay. I want you to read the statements from two to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, your score now is perfect 20. Good job. Now let's read the statement Hui. Can you read the statement number two? Number two is what called at night. Okay, number three. The museum were interesting. Number four. Number four is the weather wasn't good. Okay, number five. He went to French. Number six. They had a comfortable trip. Very good. Okay. This time we will proceed to the next slide. Your score is perfect 20. Good job. Now, in this... Okay, we are going to read the tape script again. I will read the letter A and you will read the letter B. Okay? Okay. Is this you? Yes, it is. Wow, it looks really fun but hard. How do you stay on them? In in the beginning, you don't. You fall off all the time. But you learn pretty quickly. I had a wonderful time. Very good. What are you doing here? My friend and I went camping. This was... It was. Really, it was really great, but it got very cold at night. This okay. is how we keep keep warm. Okay, okay. What did you do? Oh, I went sightseeing and visited all the museums. Oh, that sounds interesting. Really. It was pretty boring. I hate museums. Oh, this must have been a wonderful vacation. Yes, it was fantastic. The weather was perfect. And the water was so clear. Wow, look at you. You're all red. Yes, I got a terrible sunburn. What are you doing here? Oh, I took a cooking course in Italy. Terrific. So, what can you make now? Spaghetti and meatballs. Did you go all the way in this? Yes, we did. It was really very comfortable to travel in. We slept in it too. Okay, very good, Toy. I just want you to say... Read this again. This is pronounced as great. 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 
Okay, it was really great. Okay, very good. Now, let's proceed to the next slide. Oh, we are already done in the first, in the listening, the first listening material. Okay, before we proceed to the next material, do you have some question? Do you have some question before we proceed to the next material? Yeah. So, what is your question? Mm. What's your question? question? Do you have a question? No. Okay, very good. Since you don't have a question, okay. I'm going to open another material. And this is under reading. Okay. Can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, can you read what is in lesson one? The fraud module T. Okay, listen one from the past. The Ford Model T. Okay, we will be talking about Ford now. But first, we are going to read these new words in the screen. Okay, can you read the first word? That this is a Ford. A Ford. A Ford. Car makers. Car makers. Car makers. Car makers. Okay. Car makers. Car makers. Car makers. Okay. Beyond. Beyond. Crank. Crank. Method. 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 Built. 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 Okay, can you read this word into number seven? Interchangeable. Very good. Interchangeable. Okay, do you know the meaning of that? Here, there, this, there is a translation in Vietnamese word. Interchangeable. Okay. Is we we can to uh change 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 something? Yes. Change something Think that can be changed. Meaning that's interchangeable. You can change it. Okay. Let this this time we will proceed to word number eight to fifteen. Handmade. 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 Next word is mm, vehicle. It's vehicle. Vehicle. Okay, vehicle. Vehicle. Drop. Drop. Like when you drop something. Okay. Production. Production. Good job. Wages. 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 Okay, uh, another term of this is salary. Okay, salary, wages, okay. Industry. Interesting. Industry. Industry. Factory. 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 Valuable. 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 Okay, so do you have a question before we proceed? Are there any words that you don't know the meaning? No. No, okay. So this time we, we are going to read the passage. The title is The Ford Model T. Okay, 
I want you to read the passage. Mm. Henry Ford decided to buy a family cat car that working people could afford. His company first bought the Model T in 1919. Sorry, 1988. 1988. Okay. 1988. Like other newcomers, Ford had made cars for the rich, selling us he hide us. 2,800 dollars was well beyond the money a regular American family could afford to pay for a car. The Model T was different. It was the first car that middle class families could afford to buy. In 1908, it was priced, priced at $825. However, by 1924, the Model T sold for only 260 Okay. Henry Ford decided to build a family car that working people could afford. Okay, like the middle class, those families who, are, who can afford to buy that kind of car. And then his company first built the Model T in 1908. Okay, like the new car makers, Ford had made cars for the rich. Okay. Sailing as high as $2,800. This was well beyond the money at a regular American family could afford to pay for a car. Okay, because Henry Ford, the target of the Model T is for the middle class families. Okay, or for family car that a family car for working people. And then, the Model T was different, okay? It was the first middle-class families could afford to buy. In 1908, it was priced at $825. But, in the year 1924, Model, Model T sold for only $260. Let's proceed now. To the next slide, we will continue reading the story. The Model T weighed 1,200 pounds. It carried a 10-gallon gas tank and it had to be cranked, cranked to start the engine. Ford sold 15 million Model Ts between 1908 and 1927. Ford's great success was based on his use of special methods whom each worker placed just one part on each car. The car traveled along a moving belt with just one job for each factory worker. This was very different from the handmade cars built in the early 1900s. Ford also used interchangeable parts. This meant that any engine or wheel, for example, fit on any vehicle. Okay. Why, what is the meaning of the word interchangeable? It's on the screen. It's written in the story. Interchangeable. Interchangeable. 
This means that any engine or well, for example, fit on any vehicle. Okay, so that's the reason why Model T is different, okay? And it sold how many cars? How many Model T's was sold between 1908 to 1927? Um, Ford sold 15 million Model T's between 1908 and 1927. 20, 27, okay, 20, very good. So, Ford sold 15 million models. Okay, now we will proceed to the next slide. Can you read? Can you continue reading the story? Mm. Here. The prices. The the price of Frost Model T dropped because of his lack costly methods of production. He raised. His workers wait their lowest weight double to five dollars a day. Okay. The higher pay push up pay growth out many in industry. These are low workers in many factories to be able to afford to buy the model T for 10 millions of leave with a single car and a single idea. What ideas do you have that may be just valuable? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the words that you mispronounce, okay? It's prices, prices. The prices, it's prices. Can you repeat? Prices. 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 Drop. 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 Okay. Wages. Wow. Wages. Wages. And wages. Wage. 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 Next wage. is able. Able. And lives. This is lives. Lives. Millions of lives. Lives. Okay, remember those words. Prices, dropped, wages, wage, able, and lives. Okay, the price of Ford's model dropped because of his less costly methods of production. Wow. The price dropped because of his less costly methods of production. He raised his workers' wages. Their lowest wage was doubled to $5 a day. So meaning, it became $10 a day, the wage of his workers. The higher pay pushed up pay throughout many industries. This allowed workers in many factories to be able to afford to buy the Model T. Okay, the reason why the workers has has have been have given with has given with a double salary because the uh, so that they can afford to buy the Model T car. Oh, and then that idea. Change million of lives with a single car and a single idea. 
Okay, and he's asking, what ideas do you have? They must be just valuable. Val valuable. Okay. What do you think of this story, the Ford Model T? Mm. What's your own idea? What's what can you say about the model, uh, the Ford Model T car? Mm. It's good. Yes. What do you think of the Model T car? Is it worth buying? Does it helps many many lives of people? Yeah. Hmm? Does it helps that it change lives of the people? Yes. Okay, this allows workers to have many factories to be able to afford to buy the Model T car. And then they have a question based on the story before we proceed. Do you have a question about the Ford Model T story? No? No. Okay, so I have a question for you. Who is the founder or who built the Ford Model T car? Do you, and, uh, do you remember? It's you. Do, uh, it's you, the one who read the first paragraph. It's? Is. It was Henry, Henry Ford. Ford. Okay, he is the one who decided to build a family car in the year 1908. And what is the price of the car? Uh. What is the price of the car or the mod uh, the Ford Model T? What is the selling price? Um, what the, the price in the twenty four um nineteen twenty four? In nineteen oh eight. It two thousand eighteen. Uh, it it eight hundred. Okay, it's two thousand eight hundred dollars. Okay, we will continue this tomorrow, okay? This will be our topic tomorrow, reading day one, the Ford Model T. By the way, you are doing a great job today. You get the perfect score in the listening test, okay? So, goodbye for now, Hoy. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.